Hey, y'all. Shit. <laughs> if I'm seeming a little cheerful right now, um, that would be because me and my pal Johnny here, well, um, we've been having ourselves a good old time. Yeah, fucking love this guy. <laughs> but, um, Kentucky's playing their, um, first game in the SEC tournament tonight, and, um, well, I've got me a lot of drinking to do between now and then. But, um, I'm pretty sure I can, um, knock this one out. This is just something that's been pissing me off lately. I'm tired of anyone asking me, well, it is possible that there's a god, isn't it? The answer is yes. But this is a loaded question. It's loaded because... I'm sorry, anyone else seeing the irony in my choice of words here? Um, please let me know, but um, it's loaded because anything is within the realm of possibility. It's possible that there's a snow pea that orbits Pluto. We haven't been to Pluto yet to confirm or deny it, so it is possible. It's possible that the core of the Earth is actually a massive ball of batshit with a magnetic field. And yes, it is also possible that there is an omnipresent, omnipotent super being that lives in the sky, watches everything that everybody does every second of every day of every year, and loves us all unconditionally. Excuse me. Unless you break any number of arbitrary rules that he's put into place at which point he has a special place full of fire and burning and torture. Where he'll send you to suffer for all eternity. Unless, of course, you say you're sorry. Then he'll love you again. All of that is possible. The problem is that none of it is probable. Possibility is all-encompassing. Anything that can be imagined is possible. The possibilities are literally endless. Probability is the likelihood of something to exist. With current knowledge, is it probable that there's a snow pea orbiting Pluto? No. Snow peas are organisms that have evolved here on Earth. There have been no man-made space vehicles sent to Pluto for one to have piggybacked on. In recent history that the um, snow pea has occupied, there have been no impacts on Earth massive enough to propel materials beyond Earth's gravity. And even if there was, the P would most assuredly be destroyed. Even if a snow pea somehow made it to Pluto, it is so minuscule in size that it would either pass on by or fall to the planet, but not orbit. Knowing what we know, is it probable that the Earth's core is a massive ball of batshit. No. One, no one has ever found shit with magnetic properties. And two, again, these organisms evolved here on Earth and would not have been in existence prior to the formation of the Earth to excrete the massive quantities of shit necessary to form its core. Finally, is the invisible Superman in the sky probable? If you've been paying attention, this answer shouldn't come as a shock to you, but no.
in the last 200 years of scientific research, there has been no evidence uncovered that would suggest that life, the Earth, or the universe has come into being through anything other than natural processes. There has been nothing that would validate the supernatural claims of any religious text. And there has especially been nothing that would validate one text over any others. Studies done on the effectiveness of prayer have had nothing other than null answers. Miraculous images of either Jesus or the Virgin Mary have never been proven to be nothing more than the product of the power of the human brain to picture a face out of anything that has two dots, a vertical line, and a horizontal line in approximately the right places. And really, why would the all-powerful ruler of the universe choose to show his existence via the grilled cheese sandwich of some fat cunt in Florida? The probability of the existence of God is about the same as the probability of Jason Biggs being remembered as anything other than the pie fucker. Seriously, I don't care what Jason Biggs does. He could be the next Terminator. But the whole movie, the only thing that anyone would be thinking is, wow, that guy fucked up pie in a movie set for worldwide theatrical release. That's the same chance that there is of... God really being real. The problem is that after you do say that, yes, God is possible, theists take that as a victory. They come off with that, oh, pound, attitude. They take it as an admission that their mythology is just as credible as any scientific theory when in fact, it's a victory that's even shallower than Lindsay Lohan. Because even Biggs being remembered for anything other than the pie-fucking is possible. But not even remotely fucking probable. Anything is possible. Which makes it a moot point. If you want to discuss probability with me, then that's just fine. But I will no longer be lending credence to pleas of possibility. So, um, with that being said, thanks for your time, and everyone have a wonderful day. No, yeah. Go, cat.